contributions one through nine this afternoon, but were you particularly impressed with the bottom of the order? Morales, Urshela, and Gardner, eight for 12. I know. I mean, 15 hits today. Those guys killed it, and they picked us off and, you know, gave us a chance to top line up with, hey, with the guys on base. It was a uh, overall impressive day. Everyone top to bottom. Um, it's a good, you know, good way to start the day, especially, you know, with the doubleheader. So we'll take it. You issued the deciding blow in that fourth inning, but you don't even get to the plate without a Todd Frazier error and an Aaron Hicks walk. Do you look at that error as the deciding point in this game, the changing point? Yeah, you know, that's for sure. And, you, you know, you can't really get this lineup, you know, no opportunity like that in the fourth out, um, you know. And Hicks had a good head job of, you know, battling a you know, four-pitch walk. And then, you know, I came up and he, you know, hung a slaughter for me. So, overall, I'm super happy with these guys. You know, we kind of had a tough week last week, so it's nice to get back on a little winning streak. You mentioned the hanging slider. Was there a difference in your approach in that third at-bat? Because Wheeler got the best of you in the first two, or is it just a matter of getting a pitch you could hit? He's making good pitches. You know, he's a powerful pitcher. He's throwing, you know, 97 to 100 up in the zone with a good cutter. And, you know, luckily, finally, I just had to stay inside of it. And, you know, luckily, I got a good one to hit, and it wasn't off the plate. So, just like I said, control the zone, and I'll be all right. <laughs> I have to imagine that didn't hurt your home run derby chances either. <laughs> no, I don't think so. That felt good. Luke, thanks for the tech. You're welcome.